In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving normal probability distribution with the Casio FS101 ES class risk calculator in seconds to multiple choice questions. Now, after going through this video, we will be able to solve problems involving normal probability distribution with the Casio calculator. So, ensure you stay with me to the very end of this video. We are going to learn a lot, guys. So, before we bring the Casio calculator and go into the details of this video, let's quickly look at the question I have here. We're going to solve together. The question says, the chest measurement of a 10 year old male footballer is normally with a mean of 95 cm and a standard deviation of 8 cm. So, it has to find the percentage of footballers with chest measurement between 87 cm and 103 cm. So, this is how you present it in interval notation that probability of 87 less than x less than 103. The II part of it says that we find the percentage of footballers with chest measurement between 103 cm and 111 cm and see how you present it in interval notation. The B part of it is find the probability that the measurement of a randomly chosen footballer is I more than 119 cm. See how you present it in interval notation probability of X greater than 119. The I part of it less than 87 cm and this is how you present it in interval notation. The C part of it says find the probability that the measurement of footballer chosen Randomly is equal to 95 cm, and this is how you present it in tavern notation. Okay, guys, I've been mean, known this. Let's get the Casio calculator now and go into the details of this video. Okay, this is Casio FS now one ES plus calculator. Now, the very first thing you have to do here is calculator. Very important, guys. The essence of doing it is to remove whatever previous value you might have stored on the calculator, whatever previous mode you might have placed the calculator on. So, to clear, we reset it for those of you. I don't know how to do it. To do it, simply press Shift 49. Put the instruction you want to initialize or press the way. Then press the code to press the code again. So right now, we have cleared the calculator. It's now in default mode. Now, the next thing you have to do now is to put the calculator in a mode that we never really solve these questions, of which we are going to press this menu to select the mode. We are going to go to distribution. That's op option 7. Now, when you get to remember this normal probability distribution. Now, for question, now if you look at this calculator, we have normal PD and normal CD. Now, I'm going to show you the one you will solve with normal PD and the one you solve with normal CD. So, for question, for the A and B part of this question, I'm going to solve using what normal CD. So, we're going to press what two that normal CD, guys. Now, when you get here, very important, you will be required to impute lower value, upper value. The standard deviation, this symbol stands for standard deviation, and lastly, this symbol it stands for mean. So, right now, in this question, remember, question A, we have to find the percentage of footballers with chest measurement between 87 cm and 103 cm. So, yeah, the very simple value will be 87, first equal to then our upper value will be what 103. Okay, press record two. Then our mean, sorry, our standard deviation is what? Our standard deviation here is is ACM. So we are going to put eight here. Press record two. Then our mean is what? 95 CM. It's as simple as that, guys. Press 95. Press record two. Then press record now to get the value. The value is what? 0 0.6. 8 to if not leave it in three decimal places. But remember, the question says percentage. So, very simple, guys. You put this value in percentage. All you have to do is let me show you. Let's just go out from this first one to go to this place. Now, what you have to do is you press answer times 100. This is the one that you put in the percentage. First, you put it. So, this is the value in percentage 68.26. You want to use leave it in two decimal places that's 68.26 percent so that's the answer to this and then i, I part of it very simple guys let's go back to let's write this go back to menu option seven that distribution go back to normal cd so the right now we're going to put one which way yeah with i i have a double value if you want which way one which way very, very simple guys then our upper value will be one 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 
press you cut our mean so our standard deviation is t8 oops yeah it's t8 then press you cut to our mean is 95 our mean is 95 guys 95 press you cut to so guys this is the value this is the answer for question I have part of it so to get this value in percentage or similar to the press AC, press this menu button, press one to play to move everything other. Now you press answer times 100. So this is the value in percentage 13.59 percent. As soon as that, guys, so let's go back to distribution mode AC, press menu, then seven distribution the normal cd remember so we have finished some question a that i and i i, I part of it now let's go to question b let's go to question b for the b says find the probability that the measurement of a randomly chosen footballer is more than one than 19 cm okay guys let me say now here we still make first two normal cd now here our lower value here will be one one nine guys follow me then yeah our, our upper value since we don't have an upper value here now what you, what you're going to do here is to choose a large number now which i often use 10 is a large number i often use here 10 ways to power make it to this function raised to power 10 close the brackets press the button. so this is a large number i often use i recommend that you should work with this large number as well just follow this step guy you get the right answer so yeah our standard deviation will still be eight very simple guys and our mean will still be what 95 still be 95 then press the call to press the call again so this is the value this is the answer remember this one did not ask us to put the answer in percentage so this is the answer the probability that the probability that, that, that Measurement of a randomly chosen footballer is small than 119 words CM. It's as simple as that, guys. Now, remember, those of you, another way you can convert this in this is the value standard form. Another way you can rewrite this number is 0 0.00134. So, this is another way this value can be written. Is that you need it like this, or if you want to change it, the other way you can write it to be 0 0.00134, and that will still be correct. If ones, yeah, that would still be correct, guys. Now let's go to let, let's go and solve I, I part of it. Very simple. Now this time I want to find when it's less than it's 7 cm. So press AC button. Now this time I want our lower value we change. Now I'm going to use a very small value of which I often use it to be minus 10 ways to power. Then close the brackets, then press support to yeah. Our, our upper value now, yeah, will be 87, guys. As simple as that, 87. Press support to then our mean, sorry, our standard deviation will still be 8. Yeah, guys, so this is the value. Well, let me, let me check something. Our standard deviation is still 8, then yeah, our mean is still 95. Very good, guys. So this is the value 0 0.158 0 0.158 guys so that is for question i i part of it when it's less than 87 cm so they didn't ask us to the value in percentage so when you do like this it's still be correct now lastly let's check the c part of it now for the c part of it you are going to solve this probability and you're going to use an enormous speed not cd so they say find the probability that the measurement of a footballer chosen randomly is equal to 95 cm. So it can be very simple. All you have to do here is to move everything here. Just press menu, press 7 again, distribution. So I go for normal PD, not CD, guys. Normal PD. So you press 1. So yeah, our X value is what 95. Then our standard deviation is TB8, and our mean is TB95. Remember, correct, guys. So press record to get your results. So this is the value when x is 95. So 
these are the hacks or the tricks I use personally to solve problems involving normal probability distribution. So guys, uh, I hope you learned something interesting. If you're new to our channel, you have not yet subscribed, share the subscribe button now to subscribe to our channel. For more of our videos, so like, share, and comment on this video. Then I if you regardless what you have learned from this video or this class, if you seem to have any specific questions to ask, feel free to leave your question at the comment section below and I will ensure to give you a response. Now guys, don't forget to click like once you are done. Just press shift but now I put instruction you want to initialize or press the quality, press the quality again. So that that's it for this one guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.